dogs with dominant personalities interacting, taking turns, mounting each other, hormonal levels going up and down, testing each other, trying to see who is more dominant than the other without actually fighting. I'm here as a mediator. As you can see, every now and then, you'll see one look up at me. Just to make sure that I'm okay with what's going on. This is very important for dogs that have problems on leash. This girl here, she uh, hasn't ventured out here. Hey, what are you doing? What? What's going on? Hey! You notice the body language. All of their body languages, except for this little girl here, her tail is all the way up. Now, there it goes. It's going down. It has to be a submissive body posture in order for them to listen along with having this explosive energy. So they're checking each other and they're checking themselves. So I'm allowing for them to emotionally and hormonally be who they are, but I am controlling the level at which that thing goes because that's what they're having a problem with. Being able to judge the level of aggression. It's like a balloon that pops. I want to make sure that the balloon doesn't get inflated completely. You see how he looks up at me, Mel? He's just waiting to make sure that he's doing the right thing, that I'm not upset with what he's doing. Now, this, this guy, he's emboldening himself by urinating. Then Mel will probably urinate on that. And this is what that pissing contest is about before usually something takes place. All right, we'll come back.